Welcome to the seven day lifestyle challenge. Now with this challenge, I'm not gonna do a workout every day that you have to complete, but I'm rather gonna give you some pointers that you can start this year right. Now with the new year, everyone is making new year's resolutions. Now I think it's great if you set yourself goals that you can work towards during the year, but some goals are so extreme for some people that they basically do it for one month or two and they fall off the wagon, okay? And it's usually something to do with weight loss. And it's usually something around these lines that you're going to cut out all sugar, you're going to cut out all carbs, you're going to train five times a week, you're going to lose 10 kilograms in one or two months and you have your best body you're going to ever have. Now, to set weight loss goals is wonderful, but to go too extreme too fast is you're going to set yourself up for failure. The best way to do this is taking small steps every day and making permanent habits. Now I just want to mention here that there is no magical diet, nothing, okay? There's nothing like you're going to drink a pill or you can do this diet and you're just going to drop all the weight. It, that is just false marketing, okay? They just want to try to sell you something so you can buy a pill or a specific diet and you think you're going to just lose weight. All diets are based on the same principle, a calorie deficit. Now, if you understand how a diet works and you know what the major things is that actually work into the diet, you can start implementing that in your daily life. Small steps in the right direction is where you need to start. Making small changes every day to form new, better habits that becomes part of your lifestyle. And this will make future weight loss so much easier. I want you to understand that doing yo-yo dieting, and that means going on one diet, fall off, do another one, do another one, do another one, that's really, really bad for your body. Your body has actually self-defense systems that set you up for protection against future weight loss, and that's not what you wanna have. That's why implementing healthier habits daily that becomes part of your lifestyle will prevent you from going on yo-yo dieting. The best diet that you can do is the one that you can do long term, that's sustainable and you can basically stick to for your whole life. If your diet has expiry date on, you know it's not the right one. Now of course, there is going to be some restrictions. You can't eat a double decker pizza every day because that's going to mess with your calories and macronutrients. But to go on a diet that eliminates all the foods that you really enjoy and it puts like a mental thing on you every day that you have to stick to and you can't wait to have like a cheap meal, that's not a good diet to be on. So in this challenge, I'm going to give you pointers every day for seven days that you can start to implement in your daily life. This will help you to start forming new habits that can become part of your lifestyle. We're also going to do a very short workout every day so you can start becoming more active. Are you ready? So let's start. Now for day one, we're going to start increasing our water intake and our fiber intake. Now I know when I say water and fiber, a lot of people may say, but that's obvious. Of course I'm drinking enough water and eating enough fiber. But are you really? The thing is, if you don't drink enough water, this leads to dehydration of your body, which leads to increased hunger, increased cravings, and increased fatigue. This means that you're gonna crave more food, you're gonna feel more hungry, and you're actually gonna eat more, even though your body doesn't really need food. You just may think that you are actually hungry, but you are actually thirsty. But if you consume enough water daily, it will help you to feel fuller, it will decrease cravings, decrease hunger, and it will also help you to feel better because your body is getting enough water, so your body is hydrated. Try to consume at least two to four liters water per day. If you struggle with this, then try to add something that sweetens up the water. Try frozen strawberries or any type of berry, or I know you can get at the shop, get this low calorie, um, a juice concentrate it's basically almost non-existing calories okay just to sweeten up the water you can try that a lot of things you can actually try to improve your water taste and uh, another one I really like is to add crushed ice and mint leaves to my water enough fiber in your diet is good for your digestive health and it also stabilizes your blood sugar levels this is really important because it will help you to feel fuller 
so you will actually eat less and it also decreases cravings. The other benefit of increased fiber is it has a very high thermic effect of food. So that means while you actually, your body is digesting the fiber, you're actually burning more calories. It's not much, but I mean, and every little bit will help. Try to increase your fiber to 25 to 30 grams per day. So this is the first two things that you're going to try to implement in your daily life. Enough water and enough fiber.